Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, where we will be doing our live stream as always on Mondays. It is the first day of the offseason after the Kansas City Chiefs took care of business, destroying the San Francisco's 49ers dreams of getting one more Super Bowl than the Dallas Cowboys. You know, it's kind of funny that the Cowboys aren't anywhere near the Super Bowl, but yet somehow they were chanting, Dallas sucks, Dallas sucks. Maybe they ought to put their focus in on playing the Kansas City Chiefs, who did not suck against them. Just saying. And I want to say shout out to Jason M., who has shown up and done the walk of shame. He is depressed, but he is a grown-ass man taking his medicine. Yeah. So all of us are now O and O, and of course the new year starts on the 13th of March. Tampering, legal tampering starts on the 11th of March. So there is the off-season now. The league year starts in less than a month and the Cowboys have a lot of work to do because they're just getting finished dealing with their problems from last year to catch everybody up. The Cowboys initially on NFL honors just before that started, uh, we heard that the Cowboys were going to hire Mike Zimmer. Well, Mike Zimmer finally is now in the fold as of today with of course, high drama from the Joneses where it was in question whether or not Rex Ryan was going to be the uh, sweep in and take the job, so to speak. We heard yesterday before the Super Bowl that Rex Ryan said, hold up, you know, it's not quite yet uh, a done deal. The Cowboys called him. I think the Cowboys called him to do what they do, stirring shit up. That's what Jerry Jones likes. As he puts it, he likes people to talk about them. Well, talk we do. Be that as it may, they have announced that he is our defensive coordinator. And per Ed Werder, Ed Werder uh, basically letting us know what Mike Zimmer's comments were um, on his return to the Dallas Cowboys. Now, for those who didn't know, Mike Zimmer was part of the last Super Bowl team that we had, uh, being the defensive coordinator under Barry Switzer. Um, he stayed through the Chan Gailey years, and I cannot remember to save my life uh, the coach after that where we went 5-11. and 11. I guess I've just been trying to forget that. So Mike Zimmer has been here in, in, in coaching changes before and weathered the storm. Some people believe that he could end up becoming the head coach um, if the Cowboys aren't successful after Mike McCarthy not getting an extension on his deal. Here's what he said. I'm excited and honored to be back with a great organization. I'm thrilled to work with Mike McCarthy, for whom I have had a ton of respect in our NFC North days. And I will do anything I can to help the Joneses and the Cowboys. Well, if you can help us get to the NFC Championship game, win it, and get into a Super Bowl, and not do what the Eagles and 49ers did the last two, that's what I think Jerry Jones would like to have. Although I am coining... A couple of new phrases here. I'm going to start calling Jerry Jones Emperor Jerry because we all sit here, we live and die at the whim of a madman. And pigeons, the reason I say pigeons is because growing up, I remember going to Washington, D.C. Uh, to the Natural History Museum or the American History Museum. I can't remember which one. But going there, we ate lunch outside on the park benches. And I remember there was one pigeon that was right there in front of me, looking cute. And I took a piece of bread from my sandwich and I threw it and said, here you go, bird. And all of a sudden, thousands of pigeons just descend upon me looking for food. And that's literally the feeding frenzy that Jerry Jones causes every single time he says something. He says, we're going to make a splash. At the head coach. I'm not sure that this is a splash, but for further word on this, let's go to Adam Schefter because Adam Schefter, it was interesting because I was watching uh, the Pat McAfee show 
where Pat McAfee was asking, what's going on with Mike Zimmer? And basically, Adam Schefter, who's supposedly the insider, the same guy who said that um, they were going to be basically moving on from Aaron Rodgers the day of the draft. And everybody was like, whoa, are they in discussions with a trade right now? And it came out after the fact. It was like, no, that was just my conclusions that I put out there. So he's a little bit shady on some of the information that you get. But here's what we got from him um, a little bit ago. We got breaking news here on NFL Live. Adam, what's going on in Dallas? Well, Laura, the Cowboys finally have reached agreement with Mike Zimmer to become mm -hmm. their defensive coordinator. Now, the interesting part about this was we were talking about this on Sunday countdown. I said the Vikings were set to hire Mike Zimmer, but they loved Rex Ryan in their interview with them last week. And when we threw it back to the main set. Rex said, hold on. That deal with Mike Zimmer is not done. And the reason he knew it wasn't done was right before that segment started, the Cowboys reached out to him to see if he was interested in becoming the defensive coordinator. We're talking numbers, but Rex obviously wasn't interested in what they were talking about, the numbers at which they were talking about, at which point the Dallas Cowboys turned back their attention to Mike Zimmer to reach agreement. Now, maybe the Cowboys were leveraging Rex some against Mike Zimmer or Mike Zimmer against Rex. We don't exactly know. We just know that they did have interest in Rex as recently as in segment on Sunday countdown before they turn around and get the deal done with Mike Zimmer this afternoon to become their defensive coordinator. So Mike McCarthy now will spend this upcoming season working with Mike Zimmer, not the man that they were talking about the job to during ESPN's Sunday NFL countdown on Super Sunday. Oh, that's wild. All right. Okay, so, you know, a spade is a spade. You can't expect Jerry Jones to do something different than what he uh, normally does. And, of course, we're always for high drama with the Dallas Cowboys. It just is. There's never anything that's done easy. And so why would we expect this to be kind of seamless? And, you know, I kind of said that I was feeling like um, the Cowboys were basically using Rex Ryan to try and get a better deal. And I don't know why they need a better deal. I just wish that sometimes they would just go ahead and just, just take care of business because they always seem to take their time and think that they're making the wise move that, you know, we know what we're doing and everything else. But they end up looking like fools more times than not because they wait too long and they end up making poor decisions because they did. But at least they're hopefully back to work we've been told that they're going to be working on Dak Prescott's contract they're going to need to get that done if they're actually going to go all in to try and get some free agents and now uh, Mike Zimmer can start setting his defensive coordinators together we can start getting an idea of what kind of defense we're going to run which free agents are going to stay which ones are going to go because there's a lot of decisions to be made in very short order that will shape the team Championships aren't just won in January, or excuse me, February. They're actually won in the off season, and this is important to get this shit right. All right, good people, we will see you guys at 9 o'clock, and I appreciate you guys. Peace.